Have you ever thought of upgrading the breeding line of your chicken? Well, I know that as a farmer, this is the most desired objective to improve the breeding lines of our chickens. As you can see here, we have so many chickens right inside the coop. And these chickens are already big. There's a mixture of the asil, the shamu type, and the native. And I'm so excited because we were able to gradually improve the breeding of our chicken. And one tip that I have mentioned in my earlier videos about breeding chicken is the chicken coop where they can be sheltered during the night. And this is very important. And this is what is happening right now. They're all sheltered here during the night to protect them from the predators. There are many cats, lizards, dogs, and even the snakes are actually eating our chickens. That's why we made this coop for their safety. Good morning. Okay, now you're all eager to come out. Okay, come on, let's go out here. So these are our chickens. And they are eager to come out now. And you will see that we have plenty of chicks. We were able to really find ways on how to make sure that our chicks would really become big, that they will not die. So come on, you go out. And we have here improved lines. We already um, bought some big rooster. Oh, come on, go out. Go out. You go out. Well, this farm is beginning to take its shape because from the heat of breeding from the geese from the ducks from the chickens from the tilapias And now from the goats, we can foresee that this farm will really take off because we exerted more effort and of course we invested capital for the improvement of this farm. And in the future, it's my hope that we can open this to the public and invite people to make some observation, get some knowledge about the techniques and the practical approaches that we are adapting here to improve and to make successful in our farm venture. So we are using this uh, lower portion of the chicken coop for the newly hatched chicks. I find it very important to segregate them from the rest because they're very susceptible. And this is one of the greatest uh, tips that I can give you that if you have an exclusive place for the newly hatched chicks then it's good because it will really help us increase the production 
because if we will just release immediately of course we are free ranging our chicken but we are not releasing the day old chicks we will only release them at the age of 10 to 15 days old so now we will release this one they're already big and maybe can survive the environment and we will put in the newly hatched chicks of our asil chicken well this mama has seven chicks and we will let them get loose here outside um yes mark these are the chicks now you can go out because they're already strong and they can eat the natural food such as the insects Well, it's so timely for this vlog because we are actually having here some newly hatched chicks. I was just informed by Mark that we have newly hatched chicks here just today. And you will see that they are so young and very pretty to look at here. So adorable. And I don't know how many of them are hatched, but I suspect that it's more than seven. And these are already the improved lines. So plenty. Then that we are going to get out from this nest. Okay. Oh wow, beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve young and beautiful chicks. Nearly hatched. So these very young chicks will not survive if we will immediately release them here in the, in the field. So they have to be exclusively placed in a separate environment from the rest and this is one. But some of us has a different type of method in doing this but the principle is that they have to be placed exclusively in a safer and more secure and more private um, cage. So this is it. So now we will put the chicks here inside together with the mama. Come on. Okay. Ups. Uh. So they will momentarily stay here for 10 days or 15 days as the case may be. And if the chicks will already have the strength to fight viruses and of course to run from the predators um, they will be released outside and this practice is good especially that we are here in the field where predators are really very present Well, today is one of the busiest day we had here in the farm because we are actually now assembling the water pump for our water system. In our previous videos, I just settled with the Jetmatic pump, this manual pump, but I realized that we really had this difficulty in pumping out the water because this well is already now deep, as deep as 60 feet. In order to make it easy for us, we decided to just use the deep well so that we can easily extract the water without being so tired.
since we already have installed this water system actually this is not the permanent setup we are just trying to use this temporarily in order to make sure that before we're gonna fix everything the system would be okay would be all right doing well for us and i know that this deep well can last long of course we will shelter this with some roofings and we have actually purchased a big tank for this farm and i hope that this will work good for us Okay, yun. So these are all the things that we can share. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative and challenging videos. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our future uploads. I will see you in my next video on here at Dexter's World.